Hey everybody, I'm Nicholas from Leftover Content, and welcome back to Let's Play Banjo Kazooie. Last time, we finished Bubble Loop Swamp and beat Mr. Vile in a game of munchies. And in this episode, we're going to explore around. Well, not really explore, just mainly go to one area in particular. I've gone to this lair. Most notably, this one over here, because I completely ignored it last time. We'll have a small talk with Grunty's sister. My lazy sister often sleeps on a pile of treasure. The dirty hag. Excuse me. Oof, man. The only thing she's ever won was the sweatiest socks competition at which school? She often boasts of her appearing on the cover of Fat Hag Monthly posing in her long johns. And that's all I wanted to show here. Yeah, nothing too special here. So, one of. Don't. Rawr at me. So now I'm gonna come over here. And make our way through the note door we unlocked the last episode. This room gives me some frame rate issues and. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure it lags, even on the original, like, 60 and 64. Uh, doing an aerial attack on that will cause that to break. If we come out here. We can hit this switch here, and this will cause a shock pad to appear in the center of the room. Now, this is actually my second take doing everything, simply because the first time I did this... I wasn't satisfied with how the episode turned out. Uh, going uh, shock pad jumping into this vase will cause us to fall into Gruntilda's head and fall through all of her intestines to grab a Jiggy. In order to get this Jiggy, you have to hit the witchy switch in uh, Bubble Goop Swamp. If you don't, well, you just don't get it. Anyway, I'll see you all back in that room. You may have noticed that the game is now in a widescreen format. Uh, that is because I'm going to break this now and not later. This is because the game, uh, the emulator I was using, I didn't know had an aspect ratio that you could force on it. So what I decided to do was I did that so that way the game is in nice full screen quality. The only thing that sucks about it is if I pause the game, yeah, it does that. It'll make two black bars appear at the top and bottom. Anyway, going up the only way that we really can now, the only way we really can now, yes. We're going to immediately want to take a small left and come to this. Shooting three eggs into it will cause it to break open, and we can activate the other purple cauldron. This will link us back to the beginning where Treasure Trove Cove and Clanker's Cavern's portraits are located. That's it. You've created a shortcut. Now we can go through it. Uh, yeah, now we can go through it very easily. So what we want to do... Okay. Now let's make our way over here. Ah, uh, listen to that music. If there's one thing I cannot give Banjo-Kazooie enough praise for, it's it's the music. Honestly, I love Banjo-Kazooie's music. Even though I think uh, Banjo-Kazooie and uh, Donkey Kong 64 have superior music, this, I, I, I love, I love this. I just, I just love the music here. Come up here and we'll grab this mumbo token. Jump off. And uh, without wasting any time, let's go in here. Welcome? Oh, it's still doing the glitch. No! Welcome to Freeze Easy Peak. Probably one of my favorite worlds in all of Banjo-Kazooie. Why is it my favorite? I don't know. I just like snow. First, let's go into this big old igloo. Very attention. Grabs your attention. And grab this mumbo token. And talk to this little kid. Wah! Where's our present? Our dad barked. You said he was fetching them. He's been gone for ages. Wah! Your, your dad's probably dead, kids. I made that joke last time, too. Uh, I didn't get very far before I decided to restart because literally I only got one Jiggy in the whole video. Oh, my stomach aches. I shouldn't have eaten that shiny thing. Someone help poor Boggy. Yeah, we're just going to ignore you for now. Coming down here, be careful when running down these because sometimes Kazooie will just all launch herself. And I don't know why I actually missed one because I know you're supposed to get 10 for doing this. You may have noticed that someone just tried to hit me with a snowball. That right there is Mr. Slut. She. What? You thought I was supposed to get 10 for doing that. Okay. 
That was kind of funny. I thought I was supposed to get 10 for doing that. Oh, well. Anyway, yes, Mr. Slushies, are those snowmen right there? I can't turn the camera that way because the game hates me. Thank you. First thing I want to do is hit this present. Where are the Twinklies? Protect us from the Twinkly Munchers as we hop across to a tree. If enough of us get there, we can light the tree for you. Twinkly Munchies are these green goblin looking things. Just do your aerial attack where they should spawn. Oh, that was just mean. Mmm, crunchy and tasty. What? I hate this game. I hate this game! Yeah, I have a lot of problems with this part for some reason. Especially when I was recording. When I normally do this, it is super easy. Just keep doing this. And, uh, yeah, there's not really much to this. It's just do this. You have 80 seconds to get 10 of them to the tree. If you're quick enough, you can actually stop them from being eaten when they're already inside the thing. But there's no real meta here. Uh, I used to really struggle with this part as a kid. I was really bad at it. I was just bad at games when I was a kid. If I'm being perfectly honest, that little butthole. And with that, I think we win. No, don't eat him. Well, we did it. And with that, that causes a switch to spawn on the back of the tree. Phew. That was close. But we made it. Now, switch us on. Okay, let's grab these notes real quick. Yeah, on the snow, there's like some slight ice physics. And I don't know why, because it's snow and not ice. But hey, I guess it's fine. Right there, there was an ice cube that was trying to attack us. Yeah, because that's normal. They're not really hard enemies, just be careful. They will, they will spin at you with all piss and vinegar. This is probably the longest jiggy in the in the world to get, besides another one. Oh my god, just banjo! Why is your aim butt? You have to hit it three times. Yippee! Be a star and you'll find your reward. Hurry! You only have a minute to go up and fly into the star as he said you know be a star and the way that you do that is by coming up here and using this flight pad and I'm going the wrong way failure let's try not to waste time and let's hurry up and get in there I didn't get this jiggy till like pretty late into the video because I was just kind of messing around oh man my allergies are acting up today and it is not cool I hate having allergies I hate being a nerd. Yeah, I've just not been having a good day today. I've been feeling like crap all day, but I really needed I really need to record the uh, this this episode of Banjo Kazooie like really badly. Anyway, if we fly down here, back to where the what am I what am I stuck on? I, I'm sorry. Okay, well if, if we just die, we can actually go into the trip. Yes, if you jump into the water. Is the water too cold for you, Banjo? Well, stay out. Yes, the water will do damage to you, and you can't go under it. Ah, <sighs> this is just going so well right now. Let's climb the tree. I am getting very annoyed, because it's also incredibly hot today. It's like, fuck, I don't even know. It's too hot today. Come over here, and we can grab this present. I'm a present. Give me to someone sad. Uh, I'll just keep you. How about that? Uh, this, these presents, there's three of them in the world, and they're for the little kids back in the igloo, so you might want to collect them. Coming up here and grab some notes. I have had so much fun in this little tree before. You don't even understand. I'm going to try to do one of my favorite things that I love doing in this, uh, in this tree in a moment here. Oh, the camera! I don't like this. Let the, the camera... I hate this tree. Never mind. I take it back. I do not like this tree. I hate this tree. Tree huggers, I'm gonna chop this freaking thing down and, and use its corpse to decorate my living room! I am not a happy camper. I hate this tree. Thank you. Oh my god. Hardest jump in the game right there. That's just to get the first jiggy. Anyway, my favorite thing to do is, is just... Thanks, Banjo. It's just to do this. Oh my god. God. Thank you. Oh, 
Never mind, it didn't matter. Oof. Oh, this is... Why is this world giving me problems? Anyway, back to where we used the flight pad earlier. There's bottles, so why don't we talk to bottles? Hey, bottles. Where am I going? Time for some area action, my devastating beat bomb attack. Nice one, goggles. Tell me more. When you're flying, press B to launch Kazooie at the target like a missile. Choose your targets carefully, though, as it costs a red feather each time you use it. Your energy's low. All right, get out of here. You learned all the moves. Be gone. Yes, you can now beat bomb, as as he put it, with Kazooie by simply push, push, pushing B. Ah, uh, come on. I do not like this. Who said they wanted to put ice physics in Banjo? It's funny. Last time when I was doing the other recording, I said that this was one of my favorite worlds, and I'm starting to take that all back. So if we fly up and hit these buttons that... Okay. I guess I'll just kill myself. The game told me no. I'm gonna try it again. Yes, you can hit these buttons that are clearly targets. Oh my god, I didn't think I was gonna hit that one. Oh no, I'm too high! No, don't touch it! If you touch the snowman, you'll just start sliding and Kazooie will no longer be flying. Ooh, man. If you hit all three of these, it'll make a jiggy appear between the snowman's legs. So why don't we uh, go down there and collect it real quick. Don't touch the snowman. I do really like the music here. And an interesting thing about Freezy Sea Peak. You remember earlier, I said you can't uh, go underwater. Well, there's actually an underwater track for this world. It's really weird. I'll have it play in the outro for this uh, for this episode. But yeah, there is an unused water track or underwater track, despite you not being able to go under the water. There's also an unused Christmas-like... That should have hit me. There's also an unused Christmas-like song that plays, or that doesn't play, That hence why it's unused. And can you stop trying to hit me with your snowball, sir? It's being very rude. And I'll probably play that in a different video, or I can just play it now. So, yeah, I'll just play it now. Well, yeah, that's the song. Uh, I I personally like it, and as you saw right there, I tried hitting the snowman with the peak bomb with the X on their hats. Yes, you can do that. That's how you kill them, and you are going to need to kill them. However, it's really annoying to hit them, and I don't like it. Oh, come on, man! Why you gotta have this fucking CSGO accuracy? There you go, under this one is a mumbo token. So. Give me! There's 10 Mumbo Tokens in this world and 3 extra lives. I believe coming over here there's actually nothing. Oh look! Bumbo has a hut over there! Oh my goodness gracious, I'm so happy! There's a- there's a Jinjo? Oh, there's a Jinjo behind this house. I forgot about you. Don't touch the water! Yeah! Ah! Stop trying to hit me! You dingling? Get out of here! I'm just a bear! Oh! <laughs> Don't touch me! I missed that mumbo! Ugh. Oh! My god! Ah, uh, jeez. I hate these guys. I hate these guys so much. Under this one is a honeycomb, but I hate these guys. That's the first honeycomb of this world. I'm going to take some damage. I am not. And I'm going to grab this mumbo token before ending this episode off. Beat that bubblegum. And with that, I think it's a good place to end things off. I'll explore more free CZ Peak in a moment. So thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you all next time for more Banjo-Kazooie. See you all then. I hate this world.